Hey folks, welcome to Two Minute Tuesday. Ricky McLean back with you here. Today we've got a really good topic, talking about how does mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems interface with a mass timber structure. In particular, we're gonna be discussing this through the context of a glue lamb column and beam structure with some type of a mass timber floor panel on top, and how do those MEP elements coordinate and inter interact with a mass timber structure. So as usual, we're gonna talk through this in three steps. And this is all gonna be looking at this through the lens of is the MEP above, below, or through the mass timber structure? Over, right, under, and through. That's what I'm teaching. All right, so let's start with MEP systems above a mass timber structure. For this, the main option that we're looking at is a raised access floor system. Sometimes this is just for running data and electrical cables through, sometimes it's a deeper, raised access floor system that we're using for running ductwork and air distribution systems through. Some different considerations with this system is number one, you are creating a concealed space. And in some cases, depending on the construction type, that may or may not be allowed. Now, in order to deal with that, what many projects are doing is providing a layer of concrete or gypsum based topping on top of the mass timber. Oftentimes that's required for acoustics anyway. And so that can help address some of those concealed space requirements. Now, from a considerations perspective, of course, raising, having this raised access floor does create an impact on ceiling heights versus floor to floor heights. This also though does create a different aesthetic where you're able to hide most of your MEP systems. And in some projects, you're really trying to get that clean exposed master look from the underside without seeing a lot of the mechanical systems. So that's a raised access floor system, kind of the alternative to that while still having some of your MEP systems on top of the mass timber structure is running conduit through that topping slab layer. If you're using a thicker topping slab, some mass timber projects have utilized conduit within that layer and then having electrical or data boxes mounted right on the floor. All right, number two, MEP systems that are below a mass timber floor structure. What we're talking about here is really just everything is dropped below that structure, hung from below the structure. So below not just the mass timber floor panels, but below the beams as well. Now this probably is the simplest in terms of construction, uh, but it also does have an impact on head height. Not only that, but everything's exposed. Some projects really don't care for that aesthetic. In others, it may be a desired feature, um, but that is certainly some considerations is, is a MEP system that's below a mass timber floor structure. What impact does that have on the head height and what impact does that have on the aesthetics of the building? All right, and then the third option is looking at MEP systems that run through a mass timber floor structure. Primarily, we're talking about running through the beams that create the structural skeleton that holds up the mass timber floor panels. Now, there's a couple of ways this can be done. We'll start out by looking at MEP systems that run directly through the structural beam. From a considerations perspective, we're not usually affecting the floor to floor height, right? We're not dropped below or pushed above the mass timber ceiling. So the floor to floor height and the ceiling height is really just truly what is the structure depth versus what is the floor to floor height. However, it is going to have an impact potentially on the structural capabilities of the beams that you're penetrating. Obviously, if you're losing a large cross section, that's going to impact the overall capacity of that member and potentially make it go to a larger member. Also, if this is a fire rated system, uh, the beams need a fire resistance rating, you may also need to look at what is the fire impact of penetrating the beams with one of your MEP systems. Now, several projects have used an innovative alternative, I'll call it, on that system of MEP through a structure. And that is by first, one option would be varying either the heights of the structural beams relative to each other or creating standoffs between the top of the beam and the underside of the floor panel, basically forcing there to be some openings between the top of the beam and the underside of the mass timber floor panel. Of course, what this does is create openings to run those mechanical services through where you're not necessarily concerned with penetrating the beams, affecting the structural capacity of the beams. And then really the third option there or the second alternative option for MEP through a structure is using gapped panels where your mass timber floor panels now have gaps between them almost creating chaseways or soffit ways that you're able to run your mechanical services between the mass timber panels and still above the beams that are supporting those panels oftentimes then you'll see an inlaid ceiling system that's installed to cover those mechanical services while still giving access to to modify those services if, if necessary down the road all right, I hope you enjoyed today's Two Minute Tuesday. As always, we'll see you back here next week.